Today we've got Alistair Sheeran with us, an artist from Middlesbrough. He's just been working with some uh, some very reputable people. Um, I've given Animal Farm a listen, really liked it. Yeah. Got a good mod sound about you. Uh, who your influence is, what inspired you to write it? Well, I suppose going way back, the person who inspired me to play guitar really was Mo Gallagher. Um, I'm sure it was for many kids. Um, but behind the Animal Farm sessions and then songs, the influences were sort of like very much Mars came. He just come out the time, and that was my inspiration to go on my own. Um, and the Shadow Puppets, there's quite a bit of big production on that, so that was like the inspiration behind that. Yeah, yeah cool. What's your, what's your personal favourite track on the EP? Mine is uh, Question You, because it's got a very good Motown feel, and it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> well, obviously, being a bit of a mod, I love a bit of Motown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what's it about? What, what? It's, uh, to be honest, that's one of the songs that. <laughs> You know, it isn't really about anything. I don't really like to write about like love stuff and all that. But it's just I went for that sort of more town feel by keeping the lyrics like about a girl or something, and just yeah. like basically it's you know want to be in a relationship with a girl. It's up to her really. It's a question of her whether she wants to. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's not about anything. Nothing personal. It was just got some lyrics to go with it for that full more town vibe. Cool, cool, and uh. Seeing that you've been working with Tom Clark from The Enemy, yeah, yeah. Um, what was it like working with someone of that stature? It, it was really, really cool, man. Um, it was funny how it came about. I was at a gig in uh, London. We played in a place called The Enterprise in Camden. Uh, I got a text on my phone and just said, uh, all right, mate, we're meeting up with some of the artists who uh, we've been in touch with lately. And I was like, all right, cool, but who's this? He just sent them over that Tom Clark Enemy. <laughs> Yeah, gosh, it is, mate. And he was like, no, no, it is, it is. <laughs> and anyway, he said, uh, he went, we'll come up to Borough, him and a few of his mates who run this thing called Next Big Thing, which is what I'm involved in. Um, and so we'll come meet you in Borough. So I sound, yeah, and we'll see what happens if you turn up. <laughs> and anyway, this, I was walking to the pub where we were meeting him, and uh, this Mercedes just flew past me. <laughs> I'll step Tom Clark, and there he was. In his element. He must have been pretty mental. But he's, he's a nice guy. I, lo yeah. I know he's had a bit of bad press and whatever, but... He is the proper down worker. He's just an normal man. He makes good music. Absolutely, man. He's a top class musician, which a lot of people don't realise, don't think. A lot of people associate an enemy with just like three cards. Yeah. But he's not like that at all, man. He's, he's a world class songwriter. He really is. Yeah, nice one, isn't it? Yeah. It's been really cool. I've been doing some sessions with him, um, doing some writing and demoing. Uh, it's been really, really good, man. And uh, you said you're also possibly going on tour with him? Yeah, that's going to be happening. It's, uh, I shouldn't really say it really, but. Yeah, it's, uh, we're waiting on some tour dates, so keep on the on them. I can't say too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so what, 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 what's happening in the next year for you as an artist? In the next year, uh, well, I'm going to be working with Tom, and the next big thing, the team there. Um, and we're going to be uh, obviously demoing these songs over the next couple of months. Um, and then you know, trying to get some uh, record levels interested. And then uh, going on tour with the enemy. And then doing some other tours, doing my own tours in between and stuff, doing a few festivals, and pretty much just trying to keep it as real as possible.